it is well known that the risk of schizophrenia is much lower in people of European ancestry. In America, African Americans are four times more likely to receive a schizophrenia diagnosis than Americans of European ancestry. Schizophrenia is most prevalent in non-white countries, such as Indonesia, Brazil, and Pakistan. In the United Kingdom, epidemiological studies have consistently found higher rates of schizophrenia among blacks of Caribbean and African descent. According to a psychiatry online study, 1.7% of Asians, 3.8% of blacks, and only 0.8% of whites had experienced psychotic symptoms within a 12-month period prior to the survey. But why are white folks so much less likely to suffer from this illness? In this video, I will examine allele frequencies in some genes relevant to schizophrenia and attempt to show you the ethnic trends in these genetic variations. Specifically, I will be focusing on the DRD2 gene. DRD2 contains information relevant to the formation and function of D2 dopamine receptors, precisely the receptors that antipsychotic drugs target. According to a 2009 study by Heli Tupirainen from Finland, clozapine occupies and thus blocks 5% of D2 receptors. Olanzapine occupies and blocks 28% of D2 dopamine receptors. And haloperidol, also known as haldol, which is the oldest and the most brutal antipsychotic that exists, blocks 40%. Every drug that exists to treat schizophrenia and psychosis functions by blocking dopamine D2 receptors, so genetic variation in DRD2 is is most important to understand the causes of ethnic discrepancies in schizophrenia prevalence. First, let's talk about one function dopamine plays in the nervous system. Dopamine is essential to motivation and movement, hence why blocking D2 receptors with antipsychotics often leads to movement disorders such as tardive dyskinesia and problems with motivation. In people with schizophrenia, usually the D2 receptors are more sensitive to dopamine and there are more of them, which leads to an overabundance of dopamine and mania as well as hallucinations. Schizophrenia is also sometimes caused by a separate condition known as D. George syndrome. In people suffering from D. George syndrome, a large part of the 22nd chromosome pair is missing, and that part contains information relevant to the reuptake of dopamine in COMT and ICH4 genes. Around 30% of people with D. George syndrome have schizophrenia. However, most of the cases of schizophrenia observed are not caused by D. George syndrome. Instead, they are caused by common genetic variations. First, let's look at RS6277 within DRD2, also known as PRO319 PRO. This is a very important genetic variation implicated in no-go learning and schizophrenia. The G allele within this SNP increases schizophrenia risk and decreases the effectiveness of no-go learning. People with the G allele are more receptive to rewards and less to punishments. What's very interesting about the ethnic distribution of the G allele is that it is found at much lower frequencies in Europeans, at only 0.438 in the Netherlands, than among Sub-Saharan Africans or East Asians who have it at a frequency approaching 1. It would in fact be fair to say that pretty much every non-European has GG genotype in this variation and thus has a high likelihood of schizophrenia. Next, let's move on to another SNP within the DRD2 gene, RS. 4648317. A 2020 study from Bangladesh found a 2.01 odds ratio of schizophrenia for every A allele. Where is the A allele most frequent? You guessed it, not in Europe. The A allele is most frequent in the Americas at 0.5 and the least frequent in the Caucasus at 0.08. The rate of the A allele in Sub-Saharan Africans is a bit higher than in whites still, although it is highest in Americans and East Asians. Whites having the lowest frequency of the risk allele is a trend you will observe with every SNP in DRD2. Let's look at another SNP within DRD2 gene implicated in schizophrenia, RS4936270. According to the same study from Bangladesh, the presence of the T allele in this SNP carried an odds ratio of 2.0 for schizophrenia. Where is the T allele most common? Once again, not in Europe. 
And in fact, Europeans have the lowest frequency of the TLEO at 0.1, whereas Africans have the highest at 0.6 and East Asians intermediate at 0.13. The observed differences in the genetic risk of schizophrenia between Europeans and Sub-Saharan Africans can be attributed to a combination of factors, including evolutionary history, genetic diversity, and the founder effect. In some populations, specific genetic variants can become more prevalent due to the founder effect. A founder effect occurs when a small group of individuals becomes the source of a new population, carrying a limited set of genetic variations from the original population. Perhaps lowered expression of DRD2 was beneficial for the ancestors of whites in the Stone Age, and increased in expression of DRD2 was beneficial for Sub-Saharan Africans. Just because these variations increase the likelihood of schizophrenia doesn't mean they don't affect the individual in a positive way, a way that would perhaps aid him in adapting to his environment. Anyway, facts are facts. Schizophrenia is certainly a non-white illness.